Hey guys. So, there's been a lot of talk on the forum. I've seen a lot of people ask about stripping females, holding females, and uh, why you do it, how you do it, and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would demonstrate something I've been planning to do for a while. We've got a red zebra in here holding. Uh, she's been holding for a few days. So we're going to go ahead and strip her, and I'll show you what I do. Now, this doesn't mean that it's the one and only way of doing it, but this is how Lisa and I do it. And, uh, you know, it works for us, so we'll kind of take you through the process. So what I have here, again, for how we do it, I have a little plastic cup, one of my egg tumblers, and a turkey baster. Bought it at Walmart, it's like three bucks. So I'm going to get the fish in the net, which could be a challenge in its own. And then, uh, and then I'll show you how I, how I strip her. I gotta find her first. She's in here. Hopefully, she'll go easy on us. So she's definitely fighting it, and sometimes they'll fight so much that they'll actually spit their eggs in this net. But uh, I get her gently, try to get her as gently as I can. <clears throat> and then I'm actually going to use the egg tumbler, if I can ever get her in my hands, I'm going to use the egg tumbler to do the stripping. And the eggs will go right into the tumbler. Now, if she's extremely uncooperative, I can actually stick my fingers in there and just strip her by hand and let the eggs go into the net and then gather them up with the turkey baster and, uh, and put them in. But the problem that I've had doing that is sometimes the other fish in the tank will come up and eat the eggs through the net. So I try not to do that if I can't. Now, I'm not being forceful with this. I'm just kind of feeling her. She, you can feel her spit. And you can feel when she's done. Now, she is all set. So I'm going to let her go. Now, I never really take the fish out of the water. There's some people that, that will say that taking the fish in and out of the water will, uh, will help to get all the eggs out. I've never had to do that. And I think that's kind of kind of torturing her into spitting her eggs out. I don't, I don't really like doing it that way. I try to just keep, keep the eggs under the water the whole time and keep the female in the water. So what I'm doing is filling up this cup. I'm going to transfer the tumbler into the cup. So now I can transport the eggs anywhere I want. So we're going to take them over here to the tumbler tank. I've never big issue on acclimating the eggs. It's never been a problem. The temperature in all of these tanks and in the entire garage is all the same, so shouldn't be a big issue. And I'm going to hook up my air. And there it is. Now, she has been holding those eggs for about three or four days. And um, so it's a you know about a 21 day process for this whole thing to happen. So the eggs are going to stay in there until they're free swimming in the tube, and their egg sac is pretty much fully consumed. And then we'll take them out of here and put them into a 10 gallon tank. So that's kind of a quick way of, of how I do it. Uh, now, why do we do it this way? We had a few strains back in the day that kept spinning their eggs prematurely. They kept swallowing them or spitting them out and so we we tried stripping them this way and it worked so well that we decided to do it with all of them and it's worked really well ever since so you know we figure if it works might as well do it so we've got 18 tumblers in here and now uh, they're they're all full of eggs so it's working might as well keep it that way so that's how we do it I hope it helps to understand and uh, there you go.